Hello, this is Paul from MilkDeliverySystem.com. Um, this is um, step two of our getting started videos, um, showing you what you need to do after you've um, agreed to want to use our system. Um, sure, you've already looked at step one, which was adding your categories and products. Um, now this is step two. Um, we need to know, or the system needs to know, where you deliver to, what postcodes, etc. Um, things like that so when customers uh, perhaps go on the portal and sign up as a new account um, you need to know if you're within uh, the area that you want to deliver to so let's log in and let's see where we go from there for step two so let's sign in okay so now we've signed in let's go to uh, settings as we would normally go to and settings where in the step one we put the product categories and the products so on this occasion we need to let the system know where we deliver and this can be done in several ways so let's go to first of all accessible streets now we need to know where you deliver to so the system can work it out so this will be blank at that time when you have your system so you will need to add a new street and you will clearly need to give it a postcode. Now, there are various ways you can do this, and this is important. You can give it a blanket coverage. For example, um, let's say um, I am currently in E47RA. So uh, E4 is Chingford in East London. So let's say I'm gonna put in E4, okay? And uh, I'm on the map. And you can see that it's put me directly into E4. And I can save that. And that will now, there we go. Oh, hang on. Oh, we already have that in the system, sorry. But this is just an example. Um, we actually deliver into E4 and we would click save. And that would appear um, in the system. Now, what that will do is anybody on your portal who decides to sign up as a new customer if they have E4 as their postcode, they will be able to sign up and create an order and you will get an email confirmation to say that you have a new customer. Now, if this is a rather large area, you might think, ah, it's not really worth us delivering out there. And you might need to go back to the customer and say, look, sorry, but we do cover E4, Chingford, but we don't cover all of it yet. We only cover certain parts of it. You can do that. Some people like that approach because it gives them the opportunity to catch as many customers as possible. If you don't like that approach and you're looking for something different, then what you can do is you can give us a full list of postcodes of the areas that you cover. So in this instance, where you've got E4, I would put E4 um, uh, 7RA. I would put that, for example. This sounds very complicated. You might think to yourself, well, I don't have time to put in you know, loads and loads of postcodes of the areas that we cover. But you can go on the internet on Google and you can find a website, which we'll give a link to later, that shows you how you can simply draw a map around the areas that you deliver to. Click a few buttons and it gives you the postcodes for all those areas. And we have customers who have successfully done that. And what they do is they send us the complete list of postcodes that they deliver to. We import them for them um, via, via the uh, Excel spreadsheet that the, uh, the, the, the website has um, created for them. And we import them. And that way, you can only deliver to exactly the postcodes that uh, you actually deliver to. And then if you want to expand after that, you can add more postcodes to it. So there's a, there's a couple of ways. So you can do it the, the sort of capture all way, which is just the first part of the postcode. Or you can do it where you actually um, have the uh, complete postcodes for where you travel. The other way, which is something that we've just developed for somebody, is villages. Um, some people just develop, um, just deliver certain villages. In that case, um, we can have a, a village set in whereby we have a drop down box on the portal. So instead of the customer putting their postcode, they select the village that they live in out of the villages that are on display and you can add a village anytime you like. So there are three ways of adding this and we would need to know this from you to ensure that we get it right. 
But the so it's, it's capture all with the first part, the postcode. It's give us all the postcodes, which is quite easy to do. And then there's also the, the village way of doing things. So that's called accessible streets. So we need to know your accessible streets of where you deliver to. Once you've done that and you've put all those in, you can then go to your roundsman. Now, what we need to do here is to create a roundsman. And as you can see, we have three roundsmen on here at the moment. These roundsmen are linked to the either the postcodes or the villages that you deliver to. So I'm going to create a new roundsman. OK, so there we go is my roundsman. And as you can see in here, we need to after we filled this in, we need to tell the roundsman where he delivers to. As you can see, we've got a lot of deliveries in this um, demonstration version. But the reason why you can do this is because if I just click, uh, let's say, for example, that one, that one, and that one. The reason why we do this is because when a new client comes on board through the portal and they select these addresses here as their address, that customer will automatically be put into that roundsman's account. Now, it may be a case that where we've got NW6 here, for example, it may be a case that he's on the other side of NW6 and it might not be worthwhile um, that roundsman going to over that side of that area. That's not a problem. You just go into the customer and you can actually allocate that customer to a different roundsman so at the moment that's the default roundsman we can say okay um, it's normally me for example does that area but because it's nearer Neil we can put Neil and he can be that customer instead and we can save it that way so just go back so we, the roundsman needs to know where he is delivering to so go back again go back to update and go back to covered streets and there we go. If you've got rounds when you're using the same streets, that's not a problem. You can do that as well. Um, when you get a new customer notification by email, you can actually say, well, both roundsmen use that area. We'll allocate it to John or we'll allocate it to Steve, um, whichever is, 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 is best. So that's really step two, accessible streets, basically. You need to give us if you want to all the postcodes you deliver to and we'll import them or you can do it yourself and you can just do the first part which is what you're seeing here of the postcode that will allow you to capture all in that area you always get a, an email anyway to say there's a new customer and a new customer order and you can choose whether to accept that order or not um, if you're just a small dairy and you only do villages for example then we can do the village system um, to do that for you after you've done your accessible streets, just point your roundsman to the actual areas that he is delivering to. Um, if it's all of them, just check all of them. It's not a problem. Uh, just click update it. There we go on covered streets. If it's all of them, you can just click all of them. Um, and every milkman can have the same. You might just be a round, uh, might have just one round. You could have lots of rounds, but this way of doing it, if you have 10, 12 or 14 rounds, and each roundsman is doing a different area, then this will help you because it allows the new customer to be automatically put into that round. I hope that makes sense. Um, I hope it's not too complicated for you. It is basically tell the customers where you deliver to and point the roundsman as well to the area that he covers. That's step two. While you've been doing that and doing the postcodes and stuff, um, we're gonna move on to step three in a minute, which is the importation of your customers which you're gonna to need to give us and we will import them for you. And we'll go on to that um, step next. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll speak to you very soon. Okay, bye-bye.